All right, guys, I had a problem with this truck. It's a 98 Silverado. Uh, the problem that I was having was the was with the security. When you, you put the key on, you crank it, and sometimes it wouldn't turn on or you had to wait like that. The security turn on and you'll be able to turn on the truck, right? So I was having the, uh, I got on, on YouTube and forums. I was trying to look up what was the problem why wouldn't it turn on and apparently these trucks come with the pass lock or something like that and you would have to relearn the key every time sometimes I, uh, I just barely bought this truck so sometimes i would have to leave the key on the ignition for like 10 to 15 minutes it'll be it'll be blinking and then um supposedly it'll relearn it and you know what I'm saying? Like it'll turn, it'll, it'll turn on the truck and you know, I could ride with it all day, turn it off, turn it back on, but I wouldn't be able to turn it on right away. I had to wait a couple seconds. I also looked up, uh, people were putting resistors. They were doing all this type of work. Um, for me, that wasn't the answer. I know that there had to be something wrong with the, something was wrong with the dev or pass lock or not. So I was reading and reading and right here, right under here, there's a module. It's a pass lock module. And this is this is what it is. I, I took it apart because I'm gonna show you guys what to look for. So this is the module that, that that's under here. You have to take where the cigarette lighter's at. Yeah, there's some little tabs, you take it off. It's real easy, guys. And um this is this is the this is the solution to that problem. So you, you take off these little tabs, you take them off. And then you slide it out. Once you slide it out, it's burnt. So that's what causes this whole issue about this pass lock thing. So, you know, a lot of people was, was talking about buying a brand new one of these or whatever, whatnot. And, um, you know, th this little module right here costs $150 on eBay. But I went to the junkyard and, you know, you have to take it off to make sure that you get the same numbers and um i went to the junkyard guys and i and i bought this mo the same mo module for 20 bucks so but you still have to come back and relearn it and to relearn it it takes about 30 minutes um you have to you know put the key in leave it on and then the the security light was go it's going to be blinking and it'll shut off once you do that, you turn it off, wait 10 seconds, do it. You do the same procedure for three times, I believe. And then, then, then you put the key in and then it starts off right, right away. So this was the issue that I had with this truck when I bought it. Uh, the guy that, that said that it wasn't turning on, you had to relearn it, you had to do this and that. So, you know, this was a motive for me buying a, cheap, a cheaper truck. But, you know, doing this resistor, I read some forms, it'll work. But once it messes up, you will have to redo it again or when relearn the, the truck or whatnot. So that wasn't the solution. This is this is the solution to this. Um, before you take it to any electrical person for they could do the resistors and stuff like that. It's real easy, guys. Just... Uh, take this off and you're gonna see it's like it's gonna be like it's gonna be on top pull it out and make sure you know you uh disconnect it the right way and all it takes a couple seconds just open it up just little tabs and just look in there and that's what's gonna look like you see that little burnt that's what was causing this truck for not to turn on and it was given that security system so this is this is the solution guys um, it's gonna save you some money, some time, you know, doing all this electrical stuff. I might have to come buy a a, a column, you know, a brand new one, because I guess the people that had this truck before me, they were trying to do all this crap with the resistors, but I wasn't able to turn on the truck right away, and then you know the security and all this stuff. So um, I'm just saving you guys some money, some time. And y'all can go ahead, if y'all don't have the time to go to Junkyard, y'all can go ahead and just order on eBay. It's $150. And, um, but 
I want to go buy the same one at the junkyard. You know, there's a whole bunch of trucks like these. I want to go buy it at the junkyard for 20 bucks. So, I mean, if you could wait a couple of days, you know, you save yourself 130 or spend 150. It's up to you guys. But, you know, this is a solution to the past lock.